Hello, welcome to dadplays.net. I know I've been offline for quite a while, so I thought I'd finally make a video to go with my last uh, web post and uh, update you on what I've been doing. Uh, I've been very busy with work, so I haven't had a chance to do very much on it. But I've just been playing about with a, uh, uh, a microprocessor called Maria, which is a very simple assembly language, which only has about seven instructions, but it's quite an interesting little project. First of all, though, I just want to take you through my uh, integrated circuit repository. Now, this is a little mod I wrote myself because I was a little bit frustrated that you couldn't load and save your integrated circuit designs between one world and another. So let me just open up the inventory. Uh, the mods are already loaded. You can get all, get all the mods and the one I wrote myself on the website. We just go into the integrated circuits tab. You'll see that we've got a new block called repository in the four position. So we'll just pull this down and place it on the ground. Oops. Now when we go in and we right click on it, you can see that we've got uh, a slot here, we've got load and save buttons, we've got some information and we've got a scrollable list of, uh, of save designs here. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to show you a, a very quick save design. So let me just uh, let me just make a blank one, just a, a test, so you can see what's going on. So we'll put it into the integrated circuit designer. Let me just uh, let me just make a little blank one. Thirty two. Okay, we'll just make it bundled outputs on all sides. Um, we'll just uh, we'll just do an extremely simple simple design that doesn't actually do anything. We'll just draw some random lines different colors it doesn't matter just for demonstration purposes so we'll call this one test and output it so it's now on the disk and um, we'll remove the disk and we're going to go into the repository now here's our disk here it's called test already and we know the size and the author we'll drop it into the slot here now at this point we can write some comments like uh, this is a test uh, made by Dave and we click on save now at this point you can see that it's been saved out and where it goes it goes into a subdirectory called circuits in your minecraft directory so now what I can do let me just go back in and remove that disk if we scroll down on the list you can see here's the design that we've saved uh, it tells you the name that's on the disk the size of it the author and then the comments that we just put in so that's good. So the design is now saved and if you were to load this on another world, open up the repository, you could get a, another blank disk, which I'll do now. Let me just get a blank disk. Go to repository, open it up, put the blank disk in the slot, choose this design called test, click on load. Now it's on this disk as well. And you can verify it both the same because you can insert this disk you've just loaded into machine click on input and you'll see that the same design is there you will note up in the top corner there are actually a couple of labels now i use these precisely so that i can save the comments from comment line one and comment line two as part of the design if you delete these labels then the comments will disappear but will still be on the saved uh, the saved name of the file anyway but they just won't show up in the uh, in the repository itself Okay, so that's it. That's how simple it is. It's, uh, it's a little mod. I'm not guaranteeing it's perfect, but it seems to work. It seems to suit my purposes. I can now load and save my designs on disk. Uh, we go into a directory called circuits in the Minecraft folder, as I said, and you can use them between one world and the other, which seems to simplify things. Okay, so that's that. Uh, next thing we're going to have a look is uh, this little uh, processor test I made called Maria. If I just climb up the bit so you can get the overhead view of the thing and I'll just try and run you through the basic uh, the basic pieces of it now here what we've got oops here what we've got is the the registers involved you've got your MA which is your master address register you've got PC which is program counter those are both 12 bits uh, you've got MB, which is your master data, that's 16 bits. You've got an accumulator, which is also 16 bits. And you've got an instruction register, which is like another temporary storage uh, when you're loading and saving instructions from the memory. And then down at the bottom, I've got ST, which is just basically, for my info, it's a storage of which address and which data is currently being written to external storage. 
Over to the left, you can see you've got a plus and minus sign and three lights. What that does, it signifies whether the accumulator is currently positive, zero or negative. And then you've got the S to the bottom left, which is just like, um, it, it's showing the intermediate cycles when it's oper when it's doing each instruction. Each instruction takes a variable number of, uh, of clock ticks, and each clock tick is timed um, to be as fast as possible without anything breaking. So that's the uh, that's a display. The underlying registers are down here. They're a little bit covered actually by the displays, but you've got the you've got the registers here, which are just simple um, transparent latches and then AND gates for the uh, for the read cycle. Over here, you've got a special thing that just basically whatever value is in the program counter, this adds one to it, so you can quickly increment the program counter. And then over here, you've got a couple of uh, fairly highly optimized uh, adders and subtractors. It's got uh, carry look ahead as well, so it's uh, it's a lot faster than the, the typical bubble bubbling adders that you would use. Um, let's just scroll up a bit. Let's have a look. See, uh, down here is the instruction decode logic. This takes whatever instruction is in the high bit of the instruction register, converts it into uh, one of sixteen decimal lines. And then that goes over here to control. This is the uh, the microcode controller which takes the uh, clock pulses and then depending on when it, which instruction is active uh, executes various read write latches for certain registers over here is just my uh, clock generator that just runs from 1 to 16 ticks and then resets or it can reset earlier as necessary and then this is just a master reset circuit that resets all the registers so let's just head back across to the, uh, the memory. I must point out originally this was intended to be a purely red power project, but then I got pissed off making all the uh, ancillary circuits for the displays and for the memory. So then I started using some integrated circuit mods to compress everything down. So down here underneath here is the memory. Now, as I said, the memory is 16 bits um, and the address is 12 bits. This, each of these contain it's um, Eight, 8 bytes by 8 bits wide, so 2 of these will make 16 bits wide, so that's 8, 16, 32 words of 16 bit memory, and that, that's all I've needed right now, but it would be very easy to expand that as I needed to. Here is the, uh, the patch panel, where I can plug in a certain address and a certain data, and read or write it from the memory. So if I just uh, if I just hit the read on here, you'll see that I'm reading address zero and it's showing one zero zero six. If I go for address one, it's four zero zero seven. Uh, address two is two thousand six, and and so on. And that's just a very basic uh, Maria Maria machine code program. It's only about seven or eight bytes long. Okay, so this just contains a very simple Maria program that's just going to count down until it reaches zero and then terminate. Now, if I can remember where my counter was, I think it was in address five. Let's have a look. Oh, no, that's a terminate instruction, so it must be in address six. Yeah, address six currently contains zero. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to set it to two and write that into memory. So now, as we can see, it's got a value 2 in there. So all this program's going to do is just going to count down 2, 1, 0, and then terminate. That's all this program does, but it's simple enough just to demonstrate how the, uh, how the Maria program works. Okay, so I've, uh, I've reset everything to 0 on my patch panel. So let's just head up the way to my controls. Now, this is the only time I use any command blocks. It's just, it's just for convenience more than anything. So I can just start the program and... See, see how everything's operating straight away. So we'll just hit the reset, and this is just, just basically going to set all the registers to zero. Okay, that's done. And we're going to hit the run button, and then as you'll see, it's going to uh, read the address from program counter into MA. Uh, no, this is going to go too fast for me to explain. Just watch this anyway and see what happens. If you just focus on the accumulator, you'll see it counting down from 2, 1, 0, and then eventually the program will terminate and the all the registers will reset again. So let's just sit back and watch it. It's down to 1 already. Now 
Now on my webpage you'll see a complete list of the Maria instructions. As I said, there's only a handful of them and of those there are a few that I haven't actually implemented. What I've done is the load, the save, add, subtract, uh, the branching condition, the jump condition, uh, clear accumulator, and I think there's a couple of others I've done, but I haven't implemented the full set because actually I want to move on to a, a more complex project. Okay, accumulator is down to zero now. We should see the 7,000, oh, just writing to memory. We should see 8400 come up in a minute. That's a branching instruction. This time it's zero, so it should go to terminate instruction, which is 7,000. That should appear in a minute. And then when it hits 7,000, everything's going to reset. Okay, program terminated. And that's it, really. Um, as I say, this is as far as I'm going to go with the Maria project because uh, I want to move on to something more advanced and uh, make, make much heavier use of the integrated circuits mod rather than the red power mod. Okay, cheers. Thanks for watching. See you next time.